I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. I think they make a cream for that, too. Welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we're back out here. Yeah, thank you. Save file. It always starts you out. At the furthest point away, it feels like. But, you know, that's kind of classic. Ugh. Older game. I'm not trying to say the GameCube is old because, you know, I. It's a console I grew up with, so obviously, if, if that's old, then. Uh, uh. Okay, maybe we don't finish that thought. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, hey. It's me. Um, apologies if you're waiting to, for me to play this game, because. Sometimes I just kind of get in this mood where I don't really feel like recording. And so I end up just kind of using whatever footage I have lying around as the next episode. Instead of you know, keeping to my usual order, sir, you need to just stop. No, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Time to drown. No, just kidding. We're coming around. Uh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, so that's why uh, you got three episodes of Metroid in a row. And two episodes of Zelda in a row last week, so... I mean, it's not quite that much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Important thing is we're back. We're back. With more Zelda. Yep. And I'm glad because I do. Ow! I have been enjoying this game. So, uh, but I don't enjoy the fact that I have to get all the way back to the forest. And that's 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 that was the gist of that point. Hey, how's it going? Bonk. Get Shrek nerd. Uh, wrong button. There we go. I want that rupee. Good. I guess we do get more rupees this way. And other things. Nah, it's fine. Doop, 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 doop. Okay. I don't remember there being Boca Babas in here. Oh, wait, no. This is something else. Do you know about this flower? It's called a bada bud. You can stand in front of it and tilt L to jump into it. Bada buds have this peculiar habit of shooting you up into the air after you jump into them, so you can use them to jump up to hard to reach places. I'm guessing that's what I need to do right now, because I need to get up higher. Dang it. What? Oh, not quite. Alright, I will hold forward this time. Good. Aww. Wait, it's right here. Oh, barely made that one. What's up? Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way up to the top. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tell L in any direction, you'll land safely in the bottom bud. Okay. Um... Oh, I need to do this now. Wrong button. So weird to me that this game uses A as the back button a lot of times. Because it's... For me, it's like A is always confirm. Or X if you're on the PlayStation. What? Although, I guess... The PlayStation version of that is a regional thing, because... In Japan, Circle is confirm on a PlayStation. Okay, you got the Deku Leaf. Set it to and use with... Yay. Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects or enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on currents like the wind. Dordman, over here! Please, you must fly from over there to here using your Deku Leaf. Okay. Uh, allow me to 
put this on a button. Uh, I'm actually gonna swap the pair and the hook. I feel like X is more normal for me. Uh, okay, so. Yay! It's like the paraglider, but uh, not quite as good. We'll take the magic, though. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Oh, look, pea hats. How lovely. Congratulations, Swordsman! It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf! That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. A car is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you'll be at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. If only. If only I had. That's not the right thing. Wait. Something to change the wind with. That is a pretty cool power, actually. Uh, honestly, uh, you want to go this way, I believe? Like, for pretty much all the reasons exemplified in this game, that is a cool power to have. Uh, I don't know if I need that tornado to make it there the first time. I probably need it to continue on, though. Let's see. Bidoop. 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 Yeah, we seem to be all right. Bidoop. There we go. Get a little bit magic back. I'm pretty sure that's what these bushes are here for. Though uh, some hearts would be nice, too. Okay. Ooh, I do like that little skid that thing does. That's fun. Yeah. It looks neat. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Nice job, Swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered using your Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around here to replenish your magic power, did it? The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our forest haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch a, the swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft, Swordsman? It's literally on screen right now. <laughs> the updrafts around here move swiftly. You have to time your jump just right so that the wind will carry, will fill your Deku Leaf and carry you into the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance to the woods. Right. have to adjust the wind again. So it's bum, boom, bum. Uh, so this direction, I believe. Yes. Okay. And then I have to catch the updraft, which means waiting a while. I do you like how they show the wind, too? There's a neat little effect. It's cool. Alright. Let's go! Come on. Hit the updraft. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Uh, let's just drop. Because we know we're not making it. Ew. Wow, they actually... <laughs> they actually make you lose health for that. Wild. Figured since this was kind of a tutorial. Oh, at least the wind's still blowing in the right direction. Mm, okay, I need to go earlier because the updraft is further away than I thought. Okay, is this going to work? Oh, that... Uh, Hello? Okay, it usually takes a while for my setup to do this. Hold on. Uh, I should have paused it. One moment. I will be right back. Uh, <clears throat> awkward. Is it too much to ask that technology be reliable? Anyway, uh, looks like we're in a bit of a pickle here. Great, great time for 
that to cut out, you know. Um, oops. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just an issue with my setup. Someday I'll probably find something more reliable. I don't know. But sometimes, yeah, it just, it just, the screen blacks out. Game's still running, but yeah, it's just the connection that dies for whatever reason. Uh, ha! Bidoo. Bidoo. Okay, let's not hit the P-hats this time, I guess. Bidoo. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, bruh. Why you gotta... Ooh. Almost thought I didn't, wasn't gonna make that. Nope. Get... Not... Nope, not that. Was used to having the out other thing on that button. Wait, how do I kill these things? I thought it was with this. Oh, I blow them away. That's right. Fuck you. That's right. Now I remember. Also, I'm not getting that rupee because <laughs> it was in the loading zone. Yikes. Right, Forbidden Woods. Spooky. Hey, how's it going, Choo Choo? You got any gel for me? No? Okay, cool. Buddy, thank you. I needed you to come back up. Alright, you got some green Choo Jelly. Inside green choo choos is a magical gelatinous essence, but it can't be used in its current form. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kind of getting used to it. that being said. Yay. You wanna, you wanna go, bud? You wanna go? I'll go. Alright. Yeah, Echoes of Wisdom has a lot of. Like, oh, you can't use this like this. So, you could say I probably pulled it from this game. Or similar, I mean, crafting systems are in a lot of games, but... And this one is pretty rudimentary. But, you know, Nintendo games also have a habit of reinventing the wheel, so... <laughs> There's a chest over there. I want that. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. Wait for it. Oh, there's so many of you. Yeah. Twas an ambush. Twas. You got a map! Worth all the pomp and circumstance, surely. Ah, frick. Well, hey, it's another one of them buds. I don't like the look of those vines. Uh, where does this take me? Looks like this will take me down? Hmm, okay. Can I get there? Nope. Ow. Good to know. Oh, hey, you're not one of those. Hurt? Nope, I'll take that, though. Okay, I know what to do here. You have a pile of leaves and a wind ability. Whoops. I was looking for a bottle. Uh... I still have a fairy in the bottle that I have, so wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. She went through the wall. I'll just let her heal me. That's what I was gonna say. Alright. Um, um. Eh? Who? Oh, you. Hey, guys. A lot of you around here. Ow. Frick. Oh. 
I don't need to use any fancy tricks on these guys. They're weak enough. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna grab that. Okay, nothing else lying around. Oh, hey. How's it going? I'm just gonna grab these rupees real quick. Let's sneak around back. Wow. Yeah, with these, you know, kind of classic 3D Zeldas. Um... Combat really does boil down to either wait until they're open and then hit them or just mash the button and you'll kill them. <laughs> that is one reason that I do enjoy um, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom so much is because, and actually to a similar extent, um, Echoes of Wisdom. Because it's not just a matter of that, like, and I'm not just talking about the flurry rush. Um, for, that you get for dodging. That's pretty basic uh, as far as action RPGs go. But like the fact that, you know, you don't always have the same weapon in those games. And sometimes you don't have any weapons. <laughs> you just kind of have to make do with whatever you can. Um, I do think I, I, I do genuinely think that Combat is better in uh, the uh, more recent Zelda games, but it's absolutely not bad here either. Hold on, let me just. Uh, am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, I understand. There we go. That's how I'm supposed to do it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I understand. Ooh, almost got hit by that one. Okay. Eee. But I think I need a nut for this thing. So where do I... Oh, there's more. Okay. Uh... But allow me to take care of these guys first. Ooh. Yeah, I know this game has taught me to be like, oh, press A when you do the thing or when, you know, they're attacking to dodge and hit them. A lot like the flurry rush in the later games. But also like most enemies, you really don't need to. Does this work? Can I just... Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, but there's stuff up here, too. Kind of want to go up there. So I'm going to go up there. Be doo Be doo Wait, so do these things also refill your magic? Also, can I kill this with this? Appears to be no. That doesn't seem to do anything either. Okay. Uh, but there is... Where was it? No, I don't think we could get a bomb down there. Quick enough. Alright, alright. Bidoo. 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 Hey, how's it going? I don't care about you. Oh, hi. How's it going? Cool. Uh, oh, I'm getting an awful lot of green choo choo jelly. When I don't anticipate that I'll need a lot of it. Oh, nice. Okay. Link. <laughs> Got a little overzealous there, friend. Um, that appears to be all there is to this room, aside from what's ah, on the very bottom. 
which I can't really interact with right now. Ah. Bring it to me, please. Thank you. Also, maybe grab some magic. I don't know. Uh. Yo. Uh. Yo. There it goes. Maybe a little. Okay, a little, a little more directly, I guess. Come on. Nope. Okay, it does actually matter which way you hit it. No, no, I need to go the other way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nope, nope. Nope. I feel like this should be easier. Okay, that worked. Weirdly. Uh, okay, okay, it's fine. Mm, you get tracked, nerd. Get tracked. I wish P hats were that easy to take down in all the games. These are potentially the weakest P hats uh, I've seen before. How's it going? You're dead. You're dead, son. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, and I want these rupees. Oh, I maxed out on rupees. I shouldn't be grabbing rupees anymore. Yeah. I have to go back to Windfall to spend these or something. Or spend them in Beetle's shop, I don't know. How oh, frick. It does actually beg the question. Well provide an answer to the question, actually, of, you know, because one of the, the more common frustrations people have with the older Zelda games is that, you know, oh, you can only carry so many rupees at once. It's rather inconvenient when you're going through a dungeon like this and your wallet's full and they rewarded you with rupees and it's like, well, I can't actually do anything with these or they're basically wasted because I haven't spent them. Um, the answer to why that is, is because, you know, they want to encourage you to spend your money rather than just hoarding it and actually providing a limit means that you're encouraging the player to, to spend. But no, the other way. Damn it. OK, there we go. Uh, but like. I don't know. There would probably be probably better ways to do that. Um, and there will probably still be better ways next time. Because uh, as for this episode. That's a wrap. Sure is interesting.